Welcome to Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. In the last part, the focus was very much on trying to build up my economy so I could service my debts. We expanded our tourism area and I was also working on getting my uh, prefab factory going. And the prefab factory got a little bit carried away. And what it actually did was is it's drained out all my gravel. And what I've had to do is switch off these conveyors. So I'm going to have to try and manage these a little bit better. So the focus in this part is going to be very much on trying to get this uh, gravel supply system up and running. But before that, I need to talk about a couple of things. First thing is a big thank you again for all your comments and feedback and the things you pointed out and things I needed to fix. Of course, one of the things we have fixed is the heating down here. So we've now got heating into this area. So hopefully we won't have another bad winter. And the other thing also, somebody posted a comment saying about I need to really get my coal mine up and running to drive my economy. And they are completely right. I do need to work on this area here. So what I'm probably thinking in the medium term is to push up here get the coal mine working and i'm now starting to think maybe i can get uh, an aluminium production area going here and possibly what we might do is create a new small town here to service the coal mine and the aluminium but first we've got to do is solve the gravel production problem now the next thing i want to do is show you a quick tip now i got this from Aleki gaming and if any of you remember back in the introduction, I said I had a few of these names on the map, which I couldn't get rid of. And I thought I was stuck with them for good. But what Aleki showed me is a tip that he picked up from somebody. And I think this is an example of when you play games like Workers and Resources Soviet Republic, you never know everything. And sometimes it just pays to watch someone else play. And what you see here is I've got this name stuck on the map and I can't click on it. And what he says, if you come into lists of miracles and buildings, click on here. And you'll see that you actually get the name come up on here if you double click on this you can actually remove it this way and what that does is it actually improves my map coverage here and i've got another name up here which i'd like to get rid of i've got a couple of them actually but these are the two i want to do at the moment this one's not even listed oh this is interesting i thought oh, oh, also i actually click on the right button and i want to remove that as well that tidies the map up quite well now, another thing I want to talk about is something that Aleki mentioned almost in passing when I was checking out one of his tutorials. And he said that sports grounds now are actually affected by winter. And during the winter, people cannot attend them. And therefore, you need it, you need uh, undercover sports attractions. Now, I do know that that is true for beaches because I've done a little bit of test play with beaches. And, and if you put out a beach in the winter, the, the attraction actually closes. I didn't know it actually applied to sports grounds, which is very interesting and something that I'm certainly going to need to check in the next winter cycle because that could have quite a big impact on your your population. Although at the moment, my population are reasonably happy now. And, and I think that's enough of the introduction. Let's just get down to focusing on this area here. And I can't even remember what jobs I've got here at the moment. <laughs> uh, yeah, without steel, yeah. I meant to kick this little our little guy off here because I think you'll probably find what's holding up this conveyor belt system is steel. Because what I would like to do in this part is build out this entire conveyor belt system to here so that these trucks don't have to keep travelling all the way into the, here to uh, deliver the, the gravel. Because at the moment we've got a little... I mean we've got... Was that saying 280 tons? But the problem is, I've switched off all these. So, oh, ah, yeah, see, he's got no gravel. So, what we're going to have to do is just switch him back on, put him back up again, and switch him off again. I know this is a, a little bit of a low tech problem, but the one thing I wouldn't mind doing is see if I could switch on one of these. Ah. Uh, won't let me switch off that. I thought I could switch off individual ones. Never mind. We'll switch that back off again. Yeah, so we literally used up all our gravel again. But it's not that big a problem because what uh, there's only two real buildings in here that need gravel, which is this um, aggregate store and this aggregate store. This one's already got everything it needs. And then, of course, all the, what we got need after that is the money to pay for the components and steel to build this conveyor belt line. In fact, I think what I might do is what we got in the way of jobs. Just see 
Um, these guys are stood around not doing very much. I'm also building this kindergarten down in the bottom. I think what we'll do is we'll get that going as well. Now, my farm is running pretty well, actually. You can see it's already on the 28th of April and most of my fields have been sown. But one problem I do have is, the, and we are going through all the crops that are in this silo, but I think I've got enough food to get me through to the next growing season. But one way to stop that food crops being consumed is, I've, what I've done is, I've put this import back onto crops for the alcohol. And I think I was probably being a bit too optimistic in the last year, thinking that I could run both the food and alcohol from a single farm so one thing i'm going to need to think a little bit about is possibly another farm and one area that does interest me a little bit but at the same time i'm a bit worried about cutting all the trees down is probably eventually we'll have another farm down here on this kind of area stuck out here but i'm not going to worry too much about the farming at the moment because what i would really like to do is just try and keep everything going the way it is at the moment get this finished get the cement works built and the silo as well because once this whole area is completely up and running and i'm producing everything except steel because of course we've got the brickworks here which is what i laid out in the last part once i've got that done and i've got the population built up that's when i'm going to start thinking about uh, possibly expanding a little bit into here but more importantly that first time i've opened the minimap for a very long time is then starting to put together our new town up here because i think it's going to be quite important to try and get a, another town up and running here so that we can start tapping into coal and steel really big time and there is a possibility that we've got the road up here and in fact this road kind of curves around a little bit and i don't really like it i think i think what the i would like to do is see if i can get a slightly better direction with this road Maybe come over this way a bit. If we can... Ah! I think it was a bit twitchy there. Oh, once it didn't actually... It didn't tell me that I had a... Uh, I needed a bulldozer. I'm going to have to try and level this out a little bit. I think that maybe... Just level this through. If it would behave this time. What I'm aiming is to go round this curve and go down that slot there. And I'm going to keep it fairly wide. And I think we can get up through here. And ha, okay, we're too far away now. The reason I'm pushing this out like this is the fact that what I want to do also is plan this railway because if we're going to put in a coal mine up here, keep it on that money. Let's just see where's the coal mine. The coal mine is about here. And Maybe if I put this in position as well. What I would like is the railway to cross over the road here somehow. Um, I think I could probably don't really need a bridge here. What is that? Get rid of you. Go on, you. Because I don't think I can bring the coal down by rail because I don't think it's particularly that efficient. So it's just gonna... So we're gonna... Ah, it's not gonna... That, run over there. Oh yeah, we can get across like that. In this area of the map isn't particularly that flat actually, to be honest. Um, I mean, it's not really intended to, for a massive building program what I'd like to do is just push this track up through here and possibly 
Go over the track or whatever. Oops. Ah. Uh, no, we're going to have a problem here, aren't we? Uh. Well, I think we're going to cancel that for the moment. I know I can get across this road here. In fact, there's a, almost a potential for a tunnel there, isn't there? Oh, oops, what am I doing? Why don't we just have a quick look? I mean, there is a bump there. I think maybe if I trim this back a bit and drop it down and kind of be cut, cutting through here, but... Or I could... I know I shouldn't be doing this. Uh, maybe if I trim this back a little bit... Maybe if I come up this side of the road, but that means we'd have to have a road that will cross over this area here. So what we, yeah, I think we're probably gonna have to come up this side of the road like this, and then follow the tracks around like that. Something along that line there. What it would mean is I'll probably have to do a lot of leveling in this area. Because what I'd like to hear is to have both the coal mine and the coal processing. So what we're talking is possibly an aggregate store and a coal pro processing plant, and then another aggregate store, and then we'll run a, have to run a conveyor system all the way back down to here. That's probably a little bit much. I I think we'll just have to live with the railway this side of the road. And then what we should be able to do is get round to here and then branch into possibly bringing the aluminium down here for export. That's why that's the theory anyway. But again, that's, as I've said, is a bit more medium term here. Okay, yeah. The guy's been very busy while I'm away. And how much steel have I got? Is this guy... Yeah, he's got piles of steel, so... That's my little steel truck. Oh no, you can you can run along doing whatever you're doing. Yeah. Right, let's we'll get these towers in. Get try and get them built. Just keep an eye on. Now we're not actually using much asphalt and concrete at the moment because the number of buildings we've got is quite limited. Okay, here comes our steel guy. Gonna send him back to the depot once he comes out. Go. go back to the depot. I think I've got enough steel for the moment. How's the population? Yeah, I mean the population's growing slowly. We got due to the accident. I've got plenty of capacity now. In fact, actually, it's filled these up the opposite way round. Yeah, let me. Let me just keep running. The technical university is doing quite well. School, I'm a little bit inclined to build this school as well. We've now got our kin corner kindergarten up. This is quite a neat little building if you're tight for space because I'll show, just to show you. See, this one, you get like 69 for 10 uh, workers. This one, you got a smaller footprint, but you actually get 100 and what, more than that inside this little footprint here. Now, originally, I didn't get these for this map. I, this is for another project I've got in mind. It just seems quite seems fitting to be able to squeeze these into quite tight corners. In fact, there's a whole series of these little buildings like this are quite useful. Just want to keep an eye on the well, some goods are missing. Yes, I know. But the food supply is holding up quite well. I think we're down to 236 tons, and we're in May. So we, we're definitely going to get through here with the food supply. In fact, we might have a little bit of a surplus. Let's have a quick look at the economy. How's our exports going? Well, it looks like a lot of our... We're making 30,000... This So far this month, we're nearly through it. We've only made about 8,000 this month. So I guess that what, what we're really dependent on at the moment is tourism. Tourism is, uh, is what's actually giving us 
our cash edge. Actually, I'm kind of thinking that maybe it's time to open up one of these bridges. I mean, we got prefabs. Yeah, maybe it's time to cross the water. So we're just going to. And I've probably got no construction crews working on. Actually, is my road crew actually doing anything? No, it's not. So really, you need to be on that as well. So we can we can now cross the water here. And I say we've got the prefabs, even if they are. I mean, they, they run. It runs out of gravel pretty quickly. This is the monster that's consuming all the gravel. But one, hopefully, once we get here. We can get a, our second little gravel quarry going here. It's the reason why I'm trying to build the money up a little bit. Because uh, once we got that done, we sh things should get a little bit better. Uh, let me see. Anything else I can work on? I mean, we could work on another attraction for our um, tourist area here. That could be worth looking at. That's because I want to build this up and make it a little bit more... I've got one carousel. Uh, I'm not ready at the moment to introduce alcohol to my economy. I'm, yes, I know I've got a little bit of a prejudice against that, but this is only asphalt, a little bit of steel. Maybe we can put a museum of... I think I'm getting a little bit stereotypical here. Actually, if I put in the... Where is it? Where, put, where was it? Gallery of Art. If I put the Gallery of Art, say about here, like that, and then we can run a road down here. Actually, it could be this could be our first asphalt road. Actually, bring it down, and I want to leave a space there. Yeah, let's, just for the fun of it, we are a bit ahead of the game now. And maybe just come in like that. And I just ah, I built the road first. I mean, the crew have got a bit of slack time, so we're going to put our first asphalt road in here. And once I've got the gravel supply up and running, we will be starting to switch our attention towards starting to asphalt in some of these roads now. I think we're at that point in the game that we can afford to do it. I say the money is flowing in but the priority has to be this uh, conveyor belt system. You just have a look at uh, the towers. The, all this conveyor belt system is uh, what we call it. And that's got a bit... Yeah, I mean we need to build this as well. This is quite a big project, so we'll get both crews on that. In the moment, I don't really want to push this construction process any harder than necessary. And we're out of steel again, so... Get our little steel guy going. Actually, how am I off for loans? So we've got 26,000 left on one, 99,000 left on another. So I think we've got the loans under control. I mean, I could pay that off, actually. Where I, I put in 26,000. I wonder if I can... That wipe that loan out. Amount owned. owned. 352. Yeah, so we owe 352 rubles now on that. I think that's money reasonably well spent. Then we get back to doing the one we got this here. We're going to make you into gravel. And of course, we need to make sure this one's set to gravel. I don't think it's really worth moving the trucks onto here. But what I will do is we're going to buy an excavator for here. Now, there is one truck that I do want to take a look at. And hopefully, it's still available. That is a dumper. It's this one here. The BZ252 dumper. You can see it actually carries 25 tons of gravel, but it is incredibly slow. It's only got a maximum speed of 35 kilometers an hour. But what I'm thinking is that if we got that one there, 
Now it's only got a little bit of a short distance to travel. We might be able to use these. We can put you there. You there. And you're going to pick up quarried stone. And we're going to send him there. So that dumper is not something you're going to want to run all over the map. But something like this. 35 tons from here to here. Should really make a bit of a difference. Compared when you consider that the carry capacity of this is 12 tons. So instead of having two or three dumpers running here you can have one dumper running backwards and forwards of course another area that i've forgotten all about is up here mm, we're gonna need to get these roads in oh, oh that's, that's good and you get these connected as well so we'll assign you to the road crew in fact i think what we'll do is we'll assign this one to both both Construction sheds so that my question is I'm happy with this road so we're going to build this as well we'll just sign that to the gospel road crew I know I shouldn't be doing this but we need a construction office up here somewhere but we need to build this first and then what we'll do is put a a road crew construction office up here so that we can keep pushing out this way now there is a way through over here through this little gorge here you can see the trees are marked there and yeah. and what you should be able to do is come up through here and come across to connect to this road so we're going to push this road out this way there's also a little bit of a gravel quarry up here, which I put in. Mainly just for aesthetic purposes, but you never know. So how are we doing? So we got um, oh, prefab panels, yes. Well, that's because... Uh, how's the gravel now? Okay, gravel processing. I think we can afford just to switch this on now. Right, we'll switch both of them on now because we've built the main buildings to do with this, I think. Yeah, so all we need now is st steel and mechanical components to get this finished. And of course, I'm spending my money because uh, you you just toddle off up to there a moment. We've got 23 tons of steel. That should be a reasonable amount to get finished. Oops, perhaps if I actually sign these construction crew as well we've got a fire hope it's not critical no we're okay that was the kindergarten how's the population we got our happiness back up we're back to 2167 which is roughly the population we had running into winter last year and of course one thing i've forgotten about this road crew oh yeah you have got pavers and rollers because we need those for the battery connections yeah a brief moment then I thought that I didn't have the equipment to lay an asphalt road but that'd be okay actually can we get any footpaths in here okay so we've got a building that has no footpaths what we have to do is put a footpath through here to here when this road is finished so that people coming from this direction should be able to get into here I let the money build back up again. See how my ah, it's not gravel, it's quarried stone, isn't it? Ah, um, that's same with this one as well. I'm sure some of you were probably reaching for the comment saying he's put the wrong one on. That's okay because we're not we're not ready to go yet. So hopefully he will. Yeah, so he's just driving backwards and forwards. Hopefully this time he's going to drop off. Well, oh yeah, there are times in this game when I th I wish there was an extra, sp you could say super speed, but at the same time I know I'm aware that that's incredibly dangerous with a game like this. If you go super speed, things can actually get there. So there we are. We dropped 25 tons off. So as by the time this is built, we should have quite a nice big stockpile of uh, stone in here. We just need to. Push this along 
point nicely, get this finished. I think we can assign this tower now. So, uh, don't need the Gosport Road crew. Just assign you. Yeah, we're just waiting for asphalt now. Probably I've pushed these guys a little bit too much. Yeah, they're, they're a bit stretched now. I think what we can do is... Yeah, let's give, the, give these a little bit of an assist. I'm not using all the dumpers at the moment. And of course, what we're going to need also is to get some extra um, vehicles in here as well. One thing I wouldn't mind getting in here is actually a tower crane. Ah, so this is actually out of prefab panels now. But the, so what I need to do now is actually switch you onto this here and put you onto there. Yeah, what I, what I was doing, what I did is I left this on to this store so that I could actually empty out the prefab panels that I had stored here because I'm using direct export. So they would have sat here clogging this up for a very long time. So what we should be able to do now is get prefab panels from here. Got here. Okay, we're running out of... Wow. This is really high demand at the moment. That's okay. We're not... We'll get there. We'll get there. And we're going to need to get my little... Get the steel buddy going. As you can see, we're, we're still kind of running a little bit tight for cash. What we got here? I, I don't think I really want to unbalance this at the moment. I think we'll just leave that at the moment. We're not exactly got this jam packed. Just have a quick look at my economy again. Exports. Just run out. So we only made 10,000 that um, last month from here. I'm not actually doing any closed sales. What's going on here? Close. I'm a bit short on clothing. What's going on in this area then? We've got clothing, so we're not got a problem. Uh, tourists, hotels don't need clothing. Um, we got a little bit of a labour shortage here. We've got fabric. Maybe, let me just check the uh, exports. Uh, this year, I think it's down to the fact that the clothing factory isn't really working as, as efficiently as it should do. Either that, there's a truck parked in here, picking all the clothing up as it leaves. Yep. Right, it's just left now with the clothing. I think this is one of the downsides. When you've got small production like this and you've got a big truck... It takes a little while to get that 6.5 tons of clothing. And what you'll see is my income is now shooting right up because what we've just done is sold a whole pile of clothes. See, look, we've made 12,000. Of course, our primary import is steel again. And I think I'm just going to need to let these guys catch up a little bit now. What I've done is I've pushed them too hard now and they're a little bit overextended with respect to what they're trying to build. So I'm just going to need to let them catch up a little bit. And I suppose we can take a look at our farm here. Oh, that's something else that somebody posted a comment about. And I must admit, it's a feature of the game I I don't generally don't use very much because when because of the way I play and I'm all, often I'm very much focused on an individual city or area. And I'm working from memory of where resources are. But there's a feature, and I have to admit, it's a feature as this map grows, is something that I'm going to need to work more on as we go forward. You can see here, what you can do is you can click on here, you can actually see the resources. So this overview map is very powerful, especially if you put it on quite long range. And it is something that I am definitely going to need to use more of in the future. Have a look because what you can do is we come in here you can see we come in and see we can see this food situation where the food is we've got 7.4 tons of food in here got a little truck coming in here so you could actually get a pretty good overview of what's going on we've got alcohol there and alcohol there 
And of course, it's contextual as well. So as you move across the map, you'll see it will change according to what you do, especially if you, you put a fine definition on it. What you'll see is as you move around, it will sh show you what resources are actually in the area, which is quite a neat little feature. Because most games have an overview, and then they just you click it on and it turns it on for the whole map. What this does is it relates to distance, and in some ways I should have known because we've got citizens living by preference. And of course, what we can do is see how well our citizens are doing as well. I mean, everyone's happy. Health is good. Government loyalty is not particularly that good. Alcohol, of course, this is a dry economy, which is what I like to run. Culture. Culture's not too bad. Sport is pretty good. And of course, we've got no religion. Or we've got very little religion. Clothes is good. There's one thing we haven't got is somehow these guys have got radios. I'm not exactly too sure how. I'm not supplying them with electronics. Unless, unless of course, radios is something that arrives even when you're not shipping in electronics. Let's just get up here. So we've, this is being built. How's the bridge going? Still needs prefab panels. <laughs> Going to the custom shed. Why are you still picking up prefab panels? I need my prefab panels at the moment. I think what we would do is push that up to 20% for the moment. 20% of this should be 60 odd tons. I think, again, this is the problem when you've got a large truck like this running around. Because he can carry 13 tons. If you only allow a 10% percentage of 13 tons, he comes in and just takes them all away. So every time you get over 13 tons, he they will do it. So when you're calculating how much you want in a storage vault, what you need is the amount and then effectively double it in relation to the trucks that can pick up items. Is probably the best way to describe it. This guy's doing really well. If I can get this... Uh, He's in, rate he's going is he's going to fill this up before I actually get everything done these are built but we're not going to build these just yet because I, like I said I do need these to catch up with their jobs now, a little bit more than that bulldozer should be finished and just get back again to the farms yeah I mean we're doing okay crop wise so farming wise and uh, my asphalt road is nearly finished. He's just coming up here with the the bulldozer. It says I need 0.15 tons of asphalt, but I don't think that's particularly true. What I need here. We don't need that much. How's the steel? Is it still? Yeah, we've got piles of steel here now. 33 tons. We're over the top. Okay, so you're just running backwards and forwards, doing nothing. So back to the depot. What's the population here? Right. So it's not going to be long before we're going to need another apartment block. And that will probably be an, another project that we need to do. How's the crops? We're down to 139 crops. I think what we get developing now is a bit of a backlog here. You can see that. This is nearly full. So what I can do is probably drop that down a little bit and drop the crop supply here. I want this, this to build up a bit of an intervention store here. We'll just let that run. Boom, boom. Right, we've nearly got this finished. And of course, another advantage of getting this finished is that that will open up this road through here for my uh, trucks. So instead of having to go round, they could be able to come straight up through here. Wow, 300 tons. I'd love to get that 300 tons. Yeah, I'm getting low on gravel again. So <laughs> you're out. I think you're pulling in. I really do need to get this uh, gravel built. Uh, okay, yeah. 
are now out of missing gravel, but I could probably just top this up a little bit and then switch it back off again. Switch it off. I mean, it's stolen all the gravel, but I don't really need the gravel as such. Because this is the jobs that I do need running. Because you need another 74 tons, but at the end of the day, this job isn't a priority. Right, we've now built this road. This road is finished. Yeah, you can see our but the truck vehicle is coming up here. And what we're going to do is put you onto there. And we're assigning you to the Gothport Road Crew. Then, more importantly, we're just going to step a footpath through here. And that should get picked up by the auto detect. I know it's gravel, but. That's okay. And then we can get a bit more of a tourist attraction in here. Although, looking at this, we may need another hotel. The question is, do I really want another hotel here? I mean, I know it's making me piles of money. I mean, we could put another hotel in. Well, we've got a small hotel and a big hotel. Let me just have a look. I mean, I have looked at mods. Uh, what's that? Hotel content. Wow. <laughs> I think that might be a bit over the top. That requires 40 workers. Downtown Brick Hotel. A garden hotel. And that looks a bit, a bit uniform, doesn't it? 200 tourists. Wow. That's a bit... I actually quite like this if I could get it in. We'd have to put it in something like that, wouldn't we? It would fit. Uh, I mean, it's a bit over the top. But it could be fun to build. But, I mean, it's a lot of resources. And it requires electro components and everything. How many tourists have we actually got on the border? 32. I don't really feel that we're going to fill that up. I mean... I'm going to leave that open to opinion at the moment. I'm not going to commit myself to... If you've got any opinions, feel free to chuck in the comments. If you think it's a bit over the top, um, say so. I mean, if I was going to build something like that, I'd probably build it over here. But then again, it is... Oh, I'm going to leave it for the moment and um, make a decision in the next part over what we can do. Because the alternative is that we could put in a little hotel like that, which I think has got 15 staff. And then that's, it would have, and what that would mean is in this area here, we'd have an example of all the default hotels. We'd actually put it in a little bit like that, couldn't we? Well, no, I think probably like that. Along this road here. Something like that. Well, first things first, we've got to build this. They've, got, they've soon got this footpath built, didn't they? I'm just going to run up there. Let me see how many unemployed people we've got. 113. Again, if I built a really big hotel here, we haven't really got enough staff to man it at the moment. We've got some over 21s. Wow. That sneaked up on me, so we're going to have to open up the... I think we're assigned both crews to this. Wow. It's interesting. They're saying over 21. So where are the over 21s? Don't tell me they can't walk down from there. Uh, let me just see. Yeah, so they're actually up here. Well, yeah. I'm going to send you some of you down there. It's, I must admit, it's one of the more annoying mechanics in the game, the fact that you would have thought that these people would walk down to here, but because they're out of range, they won't walk. Another thing I wouldn't mind I'm noticing is that the bus station's getting a little bit overloaded as well. So, I mean, if I grow this 
Let me just think a little bit about some town planning now. I want the, the town to grow out this way a bit, but we're going to need, need to leave a margin down here for possibly heating and more power. But maybe what I could do is... Just put up, say, uh, we divide this in half using a, a, a bus stop here. And again, I think we're going to go asphalt now. It's going to make the asphalt, the road, look a little bit patchworky, but I think in this urban area here, there's no point putting down a, a gravel road and then upgrading it. Oh, we've got some footpaths here that need upgrading as well. You know. I don't want to isolate this completely. So put those in to start with. Any other footpaths here that do with a, a little bit of a zapping before winter comes in? We'll just put those in. They should get auto detected. Hopefully that will mean people will move around a little bit quicker. How, how are they doing here? Okay. I'm going to assign the construction crew to it. Got the final two links to do. Let's assign you as well. Get it here. We'll get both crews working on this. The advantage of signing both crews to this means that if they've got a spare bus, they can provide the workers. So this is now built. Uh, and that's now shipping across here. And we've got here, we've got 130 gravel, no gravel, okay, switch this on again. Uh, you switched on, no. Okay, we'll just top everything up a little bit. Again, I mean, we're not using that much asphalt, so I should be able to leave that on. I mean, we're up to two, over 200,000. Yeah, we're out of steel again, so noddy truck. I mean, I know I could put the steel onto this, but at the moment I'm quite happy just managing the steel myself because the steel's the one thing that if you let it get out of control, it can effectively steal all your money and bankrupt you. Wow, they built this here. Um, I really want this finished before we go. We're in August already. We're already in August, so I want to get this done before the winter comes in. And we get uh, the trucks slowing down because of winter. This guy is actually one thing change I will make is gravel quarry. Wait until unloaded. Haven't gravel saw here. And what we should do is get all this contents from this should whiz all the way over to here. Wow, we're actually harvesting now as well. That's great. And one change I did make here is all, all these uh, trucks in here now. In fact, I'm going to buy another one. Uh, another big one. Where is it? The biggest truck going a uh, covered hole. 10 tons, 7.2 tons, 3.6 tons. Where is it? 8 tons. Where is the 10 ton one? There it is. Yeah, what I've done now is these trucks here exclusively deliver to here. And then what I'm going to do is get a building's about power supply. Yes, thank you. So we've got the money for this. So and it's going to get another one working here. One thing I don't want is for this silo to fill up with the output of these crops here. Of course, this is a good example of showing the overlay. Um, what you'll see now is you can see the crops actually in the field, which is, I think, why the, the person who made the comment <laughs> pointed out that I was looking at the fields individually. You can see that things are a little bit more efficient now. And more importantly, you can see here, the fields that have been harvested, of all, all the crops have been picked up, which makes quite a big difference. Let's see what we've got in here. I think what we could do 
is we could probably harvest the bounty here. I actually removed you from here. Oh, it's already assigned. Okay, I thought I'd... Oh! I thought I'd un unloaded him. Okay. That's, that's good. Because what that means is that we won't be... These will be delivering crops up to here during the this rich period here and also delivering crops to here so that means that we'll make a little bit more profit from the alcohol by keeping this busy and then once once the harvest season is over we're, we'll switch that actually switch that off I thought I had switched it off but just to show there we are we have now got one more little bit to do all we need is some steel and some mechanical components and then we should have lift off and things should get back to normal here. Let me just see what have you what are you waiting for? Nope, that's it. So here we go. That's it. We have lift off. The the gravel doth oh the quarry stone doth flow and we've got this here. I'm gonna assign you to there. We're gonna unload there, quarried stone. And we're going to remove you. I'm sure someone's going to point out that there's a more efficient way to do this, but right, just let him drop off his load here. And what we can do now is switch all the, make sure all these are switched on. And again, we're just going to find you there. Quarried stone, unload. Travel processing, remove you. And what we should have now is almost a constant flow of uh, gravel over to here now. Once we've got the three trucks up and running, you can see we should get a nice. There, we've got 430 tons in there now. That means I can now shift my attention back to here and get this running again. As our next step is to get the cement production moving. Another block of flats is nearly finished. And I wouldn't mind, I wouldn't mind this school actually finished as well because well, I'll put that on there and I'm just gonna put what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'll add this as well. I know it's an overload for the construction office. You can see that the terrain is changing. We're now moving into winter, so what I don't want to do is spend, start sending trucks all the way up here. Simply because, well, I might send them up there for the road crew, but I think what I might do is focus a little bit more on there. So we're going to get the... And we're going to keep the road crews a bit local now. We've got the, the gravel for the asphalt. So what we might be able to do is start thinking about upgrading some of these roads a little bit as well going into winter I mean we're doing okay let's just have another check with this we're running a little bit behind here with the growing season maybe this actually need this actually needs another tractor so I think we're we'll buy an, another tractor because I've got a feeling they didn't get out here to sow these early enough. So maybe another tractor will make a difference. These hatch. Oh, these you stopped growing. You're nearly finished. Maybe we need another harvester as well. No, we haven't got the dollars for it. So winter is coming. So we're going to have to have a, one of these. We'll get that running. And I think it's time for come in here. Customs warehouse. I'm gonna switch you off so that we all the crops go into this area here. But if this fills up, and what I can do then is, is switch back to here. 
that's what that's the idea as well. Uh, naughty truck back to there. I think we've got things under control. We've got, of course, another advantage we got is that if we build locally here in the winter, as you see here, that you've got workers coming in here, but some of these workers will be people who are literally walking to the job. And that's one of the reasons why you can quite often build things very quickly next to an urban center. I just got a mess. What's this here? Global. Price of iron ore on the global markets is going down. Thank you. What else have we got here? We've got our oh, fire. Of course, we're going into winter now. We're going to have our test with the more heat exchanger here. Maybe in the next part, we'll build this second bridge. Uh, let me just put in a few more footpaths here. And maybe we'll put this one in. Oops. We got there. We got a little, tiny little bit there. Ah. No, cancel that. I'm going to put a footpath in there. I want it. What's not allowed? What's up with this? There are footpath in this area. If I mess this up. Um. Okay, let me just stick this out and we'll just redo these footpaths here. I think we're going to be okay. What is going on there? I think I've messed this up, haven't I? Aha! Okay, we'll just accept that. I've got a feeling under here is some kind of... Uh, I'm just going to take that out. Um, yeah, I think I just needed to delete it and redo it. So we'll just accept that. And we'll put another one out of there. Accept that. Try and get a few footpaths up and running. I mind a footpath through here, actually. Let me get this through here. With that, it's not going to... Well, we could do that. And then possibly run down from there. We will build a footpath into there. Right, we've got another block here. Nobody lives here, so that's finished. Let's see what else we got here? So we got this being built. How many jobs have you got now? You got lots of footpaths. Got the gallery of smart spore cement plant now. Yeah, let me just check. Looks like all the jobs now are getting past that initial stage. So what we could do is allocate this and get both uh, get the construction crew running on that. And what that means is they will start doing the groundworks while the rest of them are concentrating on the second stage building. Have a quick look at the economy. I mean, we're getting quite a lot of tourists. Three died, um, 207 returned. None are ending their trip prematurely, which is pretty good, actually. So that means my ratings should be rising. Yeah, my ratings are rising. That's good. So I'm happy with that. And I've just noticed the time, so I'm going over long on this video again. So this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you found it interesting. In the next part, I've got absolutely no idea what I want to do beyond getting this completed in fact i think when once i complete this we're going to start now looking at just maybe just building this town up slowly and possibly now starting to think about laying out our new town up here but that will be once we come out of the winter cycle so until next time whatever you do enjoy your gaming <laughs>